Level critical. Major systems offline. We'll be judged more by what we do here than anywhere else. Hi, this is Call of Duty Black Ops 1 Zombies. This level is called 5. It's the other level that comes with the game. In the Navy for years, By the game you get this, that you get two maps and then four downloadable maps, which you can buy uh, separately or as a pack where you get them all. This level takes place in the Pentagon where there are new characters. Uh, I'm playing as JFK right now. There is uh, also Castro, Nixon, and McNamara, who was, I think, Secretary of State at some point. Or Secretary of Defense, or something like that. Not exactly sure what he did, but I know who JFK is and who uh, Nixon was and Castro. Hail to the Chief, baby! Because Black Ops 1, this game takes place in the Cold War. When you play campaign, you go through uh, Vietnam, you go to Cuba, stuff like that. Strategy is pretty much exactly the same at the beginning. I got the quicker vibe again, like the last time. Soon. Your president needs slugs. Right now, just getting points. You saw the two uh, holes open in the walls where the zombies can come out. So, this uh, first room here actually has six uh, passages for zombies to come at you. You don't see them originally, those ah, two, just what the but you can ordered. board them up once they've been broken by the zombies. Same with the glass on the windows. You can break the glass if you want, or you can wait for the zombies to break them. And then you can reboard the windows, like with every other uh, entryway for zombies. There is only one way out of this room, and, well, there are two doors, but they both open together when you buy one, so they both open, and it leads to the second room. I know there is a devil, for I see a storm coming, and his hand is in it! Pictures on the walls show uh, characters and levels forever. from... A uh, previous Call of Duty game, uh, World at War, which takes place in World War II. You'll see uh, Sergeant Roebuck and people like that. Characters in that game. I'm just getting a lot of points right now before going on to the next area. First rounds are very uh, simple. and make beans! Second room has MPL that you can get off the wall. It's uh, an SMG. It's pretty good. I don't buy it though in this uh, playthrough. And then there's Speed Cola. But you can't get that until you get power turned on. Which I will do later. That power up right there, that's something that's 
not actually in the other map. Uh, it's not on Kino de Tone for some reason, but it's a really good power-up. It's the Death Machine. You get it for, I think, 30 seconds, and it's got unlimited ammo while you have the power-up. No reloads or anything. Just hold the trigger down and you just kill zombies really quickly. So, it's a lot of fun. And when you uh, play the downloadable uh, levels later on, uh, that power-up returns to those levels too. That way there's a barrier that blocks the elevator. You uh, pay some points, you open the barrier, then you get the elevator opens. That takes you to the next room. So that's different with a typical zombie uh, level will. Just have rooms that you, doors that you open up and move on. But this one has elevators. It actually takes you up and down. And there's three major levels. This is the second level. And this is the, uh, I don't know what this is called. But it's a big kind of round area. It's good for flying like circles. Up here though, it's really, uh, need some uh, really narrow here. and pretty dangerous up here, but you can go down the stairs. You have to open another barrier. This takes you to, uh, this is probably the best spot on the map by far for uh, training zombies doing uh, circles. The previous map was a lot better for that. Like the a lot more areas on the map with the stage on the theater being really good for it. This map is a little harder. Yeah, there's less open space. <clears throat> Go back to your hole, Reva. Another strategy that works pretty well for a long time is to uh, wait at the elevator. And when a lot of zombies show up, too many for you, you can take the elevator and then continue Take shooting the zombies flavor, at the next uh, level. So there's the power. It's in there. And also a phone, which is part of an easter egg. And for the first time it plays an Eminem song when you turn all three of the phones on. So, different kind of music easter egg. I don't know why they chose to play an Eminem song on this particular level, but it's pretty cool. When you get the power on, you get the teleporters to turn on. So they kind of take you to random areas like that. That took me to the second level. You can call the elevators to get them back to your level, of course. <clears throat> that bottom level that I was on very quickly, that was the, the basement. That's where they do uh, experiments and stuff like that. It's pretty crazy ah, room. It's the chief. very dangerous. Very narrow. The it's got a lot of teleporters, but they're kind of random. They get random places. So I don't stay down there a lot. I for this area, this uh, second level, being the best one. But you beasts aren't helping. The basement does have good weapons though. There is a bowling knife down there, there's an AK, 74U, and a, an M16. Never out of fear, but never so it does have good fight. weapons. This, uh, I got the MP5K right now. Which I, I got this one just because of its location on this level of the map. It is pretty good though, it does have a 30 round uh, uh, magazine. It does have a bit of reflow though, but not, it's not too dollar. bad. I need a re -up. Oh, no ammo. M to the A to the D. <coughs> You're now at DEFCON 2. Those are the DEFCON switches. And they're we are now they're all Defcon on this level, three. and you you have to hit four switches, and when you do, that's how you open the Pack-a-Punch room, so you can access the Pack-a-Punch machine. Oh. 
forgive one's enemies, but never, ever forget their name. I am all that stands between the dead and the White House. This room has two barriers that are just there to get in the way, basically. And you have to open them to complete the circle. I opened one already. The other one I did not. That's right there. So with this map, instead of the, the dogs, the hellhounds showing up, you get this guy, this scientist zombie who chases you and steals your weapon. So you can try and shoot him up for a while until he steals it, and when he does steal it, he runs away. You have to chase him down, you have to kill him before he gets away. And um, there's a time limit to kill him. If you take too long, he'll... Go through the main teleporter right there and escape. And then you'll get a max ammo, but you won't get your weapon back. He'll steal your weapon for good. If you do kill him, though, you, in time you get your weapon back. And you get a max ammo as well as a fire sale. And I forgot to talk about fire sales in the last uh, game commentary. Uh, it's where, for a limited time, you get a discount on the mystery box, and you only have to pay 10 points instead of 950, so it's a very good deal. I'm using it right now. I was pretty lucky I got an HK from the box. I have three of the four perks already. There is a maximum of four perks, so you can't get Mule Kick plus all the original four. Mule Kick originally wasn't in the these levels, but they, um, they patched it and they put it in every level, in every map, just because, I don't know why. A lot of people like it. I'm personally not a fan of Mule Kick. It is expensive and, which is not a big deal, but Let's if you die, you lose divers. your weapon. Also not too big of a deal, but I just prefer Double Jump which oh, some people don't like. I don't know, just get whatever perks you want. And they're all good, though. It is helping. a good perk, though, if you have a weapon like a crossbow or a ballistic knife or something like that, which are, are situational. Punch room. Public speaking is the art of diluting a two-minute idea with a two-hour vocab. So I'm upgrading the starting weapon, the pistols, because uh, it's a really good way to kill the the thief, the scientist zombie guy, before he steals your weapon when he's still chasing you. And that gives you an even better bonus at the end of the, the round. So it's really helpful. Plus it does that if you kill zombies. You know, entire crowds within of just a few few shells. So it's great. The way the pack punch room works is it stays closed for a while. And then eventually the death con switches. They count back down to... I forget if it's 5 or 1, I think it counts down. Then when it gets to DEFCON 1, it opens up, and then you have a crowd of zombies waiting for you. Luckily, with those weapons, you can kill them all pretty much instantly. The 
there is another wonder weapon on this level too, which I will be getting later. But for now, the uh, Mustang and Sally, they're called the pistols that you start with. It is really good. Fail miserably, achieve greatly. There's a special power-up that you only get on this map, where if you take out the thief before he takes your weapon, you get what's called a bonfire sale, which uh, makes all the teleporters go to the pack punch room, and then you can pack punch your weapon for 1,000 points instead of 5,000 points. Again, that's a really good deal. I will be doing that in the next couple rounds whenever it shows up. And then eventually finally getting the, the wonder weapon. Which I will talk more about later, but... It's not the thunder gun, unfortunately it's not really as good as the thunder gun. But it is a very good weapon. Twice the man I used to be! Yeah, that's how quickly the that weapon takes him out. It's really effective. Ah, this works. I think the only other gun that can do that is the ray gun. Other than that, it's really difficult to kill him that quickly. This better pack a significant punch. If you're playing multiplayer, you can do something where gimme, gimme. Uh, he has to chase everyone one at a time, so he chases one person. And then the person who's getting chased runs away, and the other guys shoot at him. So that, that sometimes works pretty well. Although he is invisible to the other people, they only see the trail of red flashing numbers. You can still hit him though, you can only can't fully see him. And also with multiplayer, when he takes the person's gun, he does teleport um, both uh, himself and the person he steals from to the basement floor. The other players will be will not be teleported. They'll have to go down to the basement themselves to chase after him, or just wait until he uh, stops running away and then comes for them as well. And he will have to run at and steal from every player before he finally runs away and completes the round. If he doesn't die first. Kaboom. And that's how you push the button. is temporary. Pride is forever. Fail miserably. Achieve greatly. When you upgrade this weapon, MP5 can you get a 40 round magazine. Not 30. It's better. And then I think the overall ammo capacity is also increased. And then it does more damage. So it becomes a little better. Never fight out of fear, but never fear to fight. Just like this weapon is a one-hit kill right now, but it isn't actually a one-hit kill forever. It does have a set amount of damage, so in really late rounds it actually does get weaker. Well, it takes a long time for it to become an actual weak weapon. You also can, uh, if you're lucky, ordered. get the death machine just before the uh, thief round starts. So you can kill him with the death machine. You can kill him with a nuke or an insta-kill or anything like that as well. Although, 
sometimes it won't give you the uh, special power up. It won't give you the bonfire sail if you kill him with an insta kill or with a, a death machine or a nuke. Might be wrong with the death machine, but with insta kill, you definitely will not get the bonfire sale if you kill him with an insta kill. It is a great way to not get your weapon taken, though. Guarantees that you'll kill him before he escapes. I forgot about this. There you go, you do get the bonfire sale. As you can see, it doesn't kill him instantly, but it does do a lot of damage. I killed him pretty quickly there. Sometimes it's worth going to the pack punch room, even if you're not pack punching a weapon, just so that you can wait and get them all in one place, all the zombies in one place crowded together, so you can take them all out and then go with the, uh, the Mustang and Sally. That works pretty well. I didn't do it this time, but I think I do later on. But you You're gonna pack on helping. something anyway. It's it's a nice bonus to be able to get the zombies all in one place and kill them real quick. You can also do it at the beginning of each round, for example, by uh, flipping all the DEFCON switches. Oh, pisser! I'm coming for you all. Pain is temporary. Pride is forever. Ich bin ein Berliner! The Beast of Boston! <laughs> Taste the flavor, Chopper! I see in America unafraid of beauty and grace, but you beasts aren't helping! This kill is a lot of fun. Back to the Stone Age, Bubba's! is temporary. Pride is forever. So now I have to, uh, or what I'm doing is getting the wonder weapon. And I have to look for the mystery box first. So we get to see more of the basement floor here. You saw the M16. These are rooms. There's three rooms that you can open for points. And the good thing is you can look through the windows and you can see the mystery box through the windows so you don't have to guess at which room the box is in. You can look through the window and see if it's there. 
I think that each room has something in it, like a, uh, the bowling knife is in one, there's Semtex in one, there's the bowling knife right there, and the mystery box could be in any of them, depending on I hold your luck. the key to peace in my hands. And I just have to use the box until I get it. Which is, uh, I was very now, lucky in this creeps. game. I got it on my second try. So I didn't need to rack up all those points before trying the box, but oh well. I didn't want to make a crawler every round in a, uh, a gameplay like this and just you keep using the box you know, every round. It would take too long. But I got the Winter's Howl now. So this weapon is a, a freeze gun. It first thing it does is slow down zombies when you shoot them. They slow down to a walking speed. And then if you shoot them enough that it will kill them, they freeze up in a block of ice. And then after a few seconds, the ice will shatter and they'll die. So you'll see it pretty quickly. Getting them all together first because it is a it has an area of effect in America, like of that. And grace, but you beasts are freeze helping. up in a block of ice. The, the ice breaks. You can break the ice by walking into them, by knifing them, by shooting them, or whatever you want to do, or just waiting even. The ones that don't get frozen in ice will slow down. When you pack punch this gun, eventually it increases the ammo capacity, the uh, magazine size, as well as the overall capacity. And it increases the damage and the area of effect. So you hit more zombies with each single shot. Starts with a six round magazine and then you upgrade it. Nine rounds. The flavor, Take that skinny. Go back to your hole, Reba. Can you dig it? This map because it there is no outdoors place in it. Um, you can find the mystery box. Uh, or you can get a clue to where the mystery box is by looking at the certain TVs. So, uh, on the second floor and the third floor, there are uh, certain TVs that will show a, like a video camera of the mystery box. And if you look at the background, you'll see the general area. And if you do get a teddy bear, it can spawn up in the top floor in, uh, I don't know, the Oval Office or whatever that is, where, where you start. The box will never start there, it will always start in the basement, but after a teddy bear, it can spawn anywhere. Even here, you can see the box uh, location right there. Another thing with that gun is that you pull it out when you die. That's why I killed myself, just to show you that I lied, I actually uh, died by accident, but that is what you can do. You can pull it out when you die. So when you die, get Juggernaut real quick so that you don't get killed for good without your quicker buy. I will be getting back on my perks later. Forgive one's enemies, but never, ever forget their names! Speed pull and quick revive on the top floor. There's also a phone up here, and I don't know if I I turned on the phone at the beginning. It's right there next to the quick revive on a uh, a desk. Uh, 
in the Navy for years. Never tasted anything that fishy. Feeling speedy. Let's pull the trigger on these scum divers. Fail miserably, achieve greatly. Pain is temporary, pride is forever. Again. What's interesting is I I don't know if you can actually fail with the uh, the freeze gun, the winter's helm. I've tried it and it does not fail fast enough. He catches you and he takes it. So I don't know if it's really weak against him or if he's immune to it or something. <clears throat> but that gun will not actually hurt him. So You'll have to use a ray gun or a Mustang and Sally if you want to take him out before he takes your weapon. Ice! Ice, baby! Attention. We are now at death. Ah, oh, this works. Security lockdown. Understatement of the century. I see an America unafraid of beauty and grace, but you beasts aren't helping. Like a bastard out here. So uh, that's it for this commentary. I'll see you next time.